ABC Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. Jen Ashton as we track all of the day's major developments. We begin with a look at the latest COVID-19 numbers from Johns Hopkins University. Diagnosed cases of coronavirus climbing now to more than 68.2 million, with more here in the U.S. than anywhere else. Now over 15.1 million, with at least 286,000 American lives lost. And Doc, so much attention on the vaccine it's being rolled out. People are getting it in some places around the world, yep. this country very soon, but still there's an effort underway to educate people about how safe these vaccines are. Absolutely, and the FDA will be hearing more data tomorrow. That's the big day, and then we'll be making their decision about authorization, so they're releasing more specifics about efficacy and safety. Take a look at this. This is uh, released by the FDA late yesterday. After the first dose of the Pfizer vaccine, they're finding approximately 52% efficacy. After the second dose, it goes to 95% efficacy. So again, the, the idea is to get both doses. The immune response they've discovered begins as early as 10 days after the first dose, which is great. And subsets of populations, they're finding similar rates of efficacy in whites, blacks, Latinos, obese people, all important, all good news. Clinical trials will continue. They will be ongoing, so they will continue to follow these people at least up to two years. All right, and so check on the effective, right. but the other big check, of course, is safety, and there are side effects that everyone needs to be aware of. A hundred percent, and this hasn't gotten enough attention yet. It needs to, so take a look at the expected side effects and their frequency. Fatigue occurring approximately 60% of the time. Muscle pain approximately 38% of the time. Joint pain around 20% of the time. Fever above 100.4 degrees approximately 15% of the time. And other systemic side effects, chills, nausea, diarrhea. Public health officials, epidemiologists, infectious disease officials saying people should plan and expect for these side effects if necessary, take a day off from work. They are not toxicity of this vaccine. They are really the immune system responding. So we need to have people be aware of that. Yeah, important to remember. Yeah. All right, Dr. Jen, thank you, you as always. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.